Let's go ahead and see how you handle POCl3 if you got the correct answer for that. Let's count our total number of valence electrons first. Phosphorus is 5, oxygen is 6, each chlorine is 7, so that's a total of 21. So 21, 6, and 5, looks like that gives us 32 electrons we need to account for. When we're done, we need to make sure our molecule has 32 total electrons. Central atom is going to be the one that is least electronegative. And when you start looking at electronegativities, remember oxygen is highly electronegative, as is chlorine, fairly electronegative. So phosphorus should have been your central atom. And then the other molecules, the oxygen and the three chlorines, we're just going to put them around it. Really irrelevant where you put them on that phosphorus, as long as you remember phosphorus is the center and the others are on the outside. One of the things you want to do is go ahead and just stop periodically and count your number of valence electrons. At the moment, we've got four bonds. Each bond is two electrons. So right now we have eight of our 32 accounted for. Where do we distribute to first? Well, the rules tell us we've got to distribute outside first. So we're going to distribute again in pairs until we get to our required octet. So oxygen and each one of these chlorines is going to get three pairs of two along with the bond that they all share with the phosphorus, they're going to have their eight electrons total. So let's stop and check for a second, see where we're at, how many total electrons. We've got eight electrons with our bonds, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. We have our 32 electrons that we need, so there are none left to distribute to the central atom, which makes sense, or at least should make sense, because Phosphorus already has eight electrons, four bonds, two electrons per bond. Let's try one that's a little more different. It has some weird things that go on with it, and that's HSO3Cl. This one's a little odd because it has a couple of different molecules, and hydrogen doesn't act as our central atom, even though it only has, or it does have the lowest electronegativity. Why? Because remember, hydrogen only wants two electrons total. So it can't be a central atom because it can only really connect to one thing or bond to one thing. So that kind of lets hydrogen out, it lets the oxygen out because oxygen is highly electronegative, chlorine is fairly electronegative, sulfur is your central atom. And here becomes the next problem. When I put in my oxygen and let's do two oxygens, three oxygens rather, make sure we get this correct, and our one chlorine, we notice that sulfur already has its eight electrons because it has four bonds, but we haven't put the hydrogen anywhere. So where in the world does that hydrogen go? Well, this is probably an acid, and when you deal with acids like this, the best place to put a hydrogen is right out here on one of the oxygens, kind of sticking off like that. You're not going to run across too many of those, but in case you ever see an acidic compound like this, that hydrogen out in front, that's probably how you're going to deal with it, hang it right off an oxygen. How many electrons do we need in this thing? We should probably count the total number of valence electrons. Hydrogen is one, sulfur six, each oxygen is six for a total of 18, and our chlorine is seven. So 18 and six is 24, one from the hydrogen is 25, seven more from the chlorine looks like 32. And if I'm counting right, we already have 10 in our structure. We've got five bonds, one, two, three, four, five. That gives us 10 electrons. Let's start distributing outside first. Let's see, chlorine is going to get some. Oxygen is going to get some. Some on this oxygen up here. And now be careful with this oxygen right here. It's already got two bonds, so it only needs two pairs of electrons. Now you'll notice I didn't put anything on the hydrogen, even though it's an outside atom, because remember, hydrogen only accepts two electrons total, and it's already got two from this bond right here. So we don't need to give it any more. Let's stop and count, see where we're at. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. We have nothing left to distribute to that outside atom, or the sulfur, the central atom. So we know we're good. Why don't you go ahead and take a look at this last one down here, COCl2. See what you can come up with on this thing. Now I will warn you, first of all, that's a capital C and a capital O. Don't use cobalt by accident on this one. And get yourself to the point where you followed all the rules and make sure everything has an octet and make sure you've got the total number of electrons you need. Something a little bit tricky going to happen with this one. Try it on your own and we'll pick up here in part three.